Monday morning. Got to get my pickle juice down. Those in the know, well, you know. It's good for you. So, uh, Big Chris gave me a call and said he's coming over here sometime today. He wants to take a look at the 66 Mustang Fastback I have. And uh, it looks like there he is. Can't hardly see him because he's as big as the door. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Just uh, It's Monday morning. I just had my pickle juice. And you're already here. Are you What's already hunting? Well, it's Monday morning. Man. What's well, up? Monday's Monday. You good? Yeah. What's going it's on? my nephew, I'm Jay. Jay, Jay how nice you doing, man? You, are you good American things. or are you from over there? I'm from over there. Uh, uh, I'm trying uh, to be American. Well, you know, it works out. Boots. Yeah, there you, you get over here and he stuck you in some freaking uh, Wrangler jeans and boots. <laughs> you're good to go. Way there. Welcome to America. <laughs> Takes a start, kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the deal? Why are you out here? Uh, Jay wants to buy his first Mustang, dude. He's had a Trans Am so far but he really wants a fastback and I'm pretty sure you've got a black one in stock. I got a fastbacks, but I got a builder. You know, it's a good starter car. Be kind, it's his birthday. It's not his money, it's yours, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe, a little bit. <laughs> okay, well then there you go. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the Trans Am you built. Okay, so it was a red 74. Um, I bought it when I was 16, when I first moved here and uh, painted it, restored it, got it running real nice, original 455. Uh, with a TH400 and uh, I used it to go to high school in for my senior year. It was pretty cool and then uh, I moved to college, it wasn't really practical so uh, decided to sell it and now I want another one. I want <laughs> you want a Mustang? Yep. Well, That's you it. know, you're moving up in the world. I mean, I graduated uh, high school with a 77 Pontiac oh, really? Trans Am. Nice. So uh, check this out. This is a 66 289 automatic power steering, power brakes, AC car from the factory. Pony interior. Uh, black on black is pretty rare. Um, it's got a few whiskey dents along the way. But all in all, it's a good car. The torque boxes are good. Floors are, uh, you know, they're better than average on these things. And, uh, you know, take a look at it. Two plus two, fold down rear seat. And trust me, I've had a bunch of these. You can't really get too busy on the fold down rear seat unless you fold down the front seats. Oh, then you can. <laughs> But uh, it's a pretty neat little car. I picked it up out of Minnesota with about 10 other cars. And uh, I think this is the last one left. What do you think? Well, look at it, open it up. Take, take in that old car smell. <laughs> it's got a few weird doodads on it that I think the guy added, like those door lights down at the bottom are not, uh, not stock. Um, the mirror uh, with the remote indoor uh, able to adjust it on the driver's side, not stock. Um, but it's just not a sneaky car. You can tell it's not a wet car. You know, from being up north, it's really, really solid. It looks like a survivor. It is. Uh, I think it's been probably sprayed on the outside once, mm -hmm. but original color. Um, you know, it's just a good little car. It'd be a fun car. And I mean, there's so much aftermarket stuff you can buy on these things now that make them wicked cool. I can show you a wicked cool one next door if you want to see that, but I don't want to burst your bubble. <laughs> you want to burst my wallet? Dude, you make your money when you buy. I know, that's what's got me upset right now. <laughs> what's the plan, Jay? If you get something like this, you're just gonna uh, tear it down, redo it, or put more power in it? Drop a coyote in? What? I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. I want to I make some money. And uh, obviously, the aftermarket coyote market right now is crazy. So, uh, you know, Willwood brakes, you know, new suspension. Make it real nice driver, you know? Is it run and drive? Can we get out in it? Me and Jay can. Well, wait a second. You can go with us. You're in the back. Come on, let's go. You already <laughs> opened your mouth. In. <laughs> you already opened your mouth. Let's do it. Hey, uh, Chase, will you throw that door up? I'd go on the other side. You got a little bit more room to get in. Oh, yeah, a lot. Hey, it's like I said, it's a fold down. If you don't think you can fit in the seat, you can just cram yourself back there like a tri fold wallet. You fold down the trunk? Where do you want me to go? Come on, dude, you've been in. No way, he's the buyer. He's the one that's gonna build it. Don't hit your head. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, Jay, make it quick. I'm claustrophobic right now. Hey, what am I doing wrong? Is that an extreme uh, park lockout? How you feeling back there? 
kind of warm. It's fixing to get warmer when we get in the sun. How you feeling back there? The sun's kind of warm. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a greenhouse right now. Or a fishbowl. A fishbowl. That's not tight. <laughs> Now you tell me. What do you think, Joey? It's real nice. All you've done is go in reverse, man. Right. Let's go forward. Oh my God. <laughs> I can feel this thing squatting with me in the back. I can not too. I feel like I'm driving a gasser. I bet it hooks up. <laughs> and a hook up and lay down is what it's gonna do. Yeah. It's gonna have its tongue hanging out. Let's go see if we can find some bumps, Jay. <laughs> That's a good idea. But no, I mean, it is what it is. We got it running and yep. going. Uh, it's got uh, fresh brakes. We checked all the normal stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just a, you know, garage find. Yeah. 66, black on black. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice, huh? <laughs> I thought the words over there was it's freaking mint. <laughs> but this would be a cool car. Yeah. I gotta, uh, and if it can fit Chris in the back, he can do anything. So I'm not coming back in here again. <laughs> what? I'd slam on the brakes, but I don't want you running. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. You would hurt me more than it hurt yeah. you. I think huh. that might. That might happen. Oh, eight track player? Oh, there you go. I bet you don't even ever seen an eight track player. Oh, ever. that is the first time I've seen one. Well, <laughs> there's a real eight track. And when we were young, we had an eight track insertion thing that would then you could put your cassette tape into. Oh, wow. And then as eight tracks went away, we had the cassette thing that you put in that plugged into your DV, your CD player. <laughs> nice. Now everything just comes magically through the air. Look at that headliner on this car. It's getting cooler back here. I like it now as a breeze. I didn't even know this car would go this fast. Dude, this thing runs runs pretty good. Yeah, nice. I think besides the flat spots and the tires, this car feels pretty good. Whoa. Oh, she, <laughs> she pulled him on my dude. <laughs> Doesn't have exactly a lot of brakes. Either. <laughs> and she's kind of decided not to go anymore. Do you hear that, Jay? It's getting cheaper, dude. <laughs> yep. I think it just flat gave up because you're back there. <laughs> it's a part of the sales process. It's like, yeah. I'm not doing 300 <laughs> pounds. God damn. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> so how much is this $5,000 car? It's getting car? cheaper and cheaper every time you crank it. <laughs> <sighs> Good I'm job, gonna Jay. blame this on Chris. <laughs> Good job, buddy. That's it. Keep going. No 50 plus year old pony should have to carry this much load. That's what. <laughs> that's what he always says to me, dude. How much is this five thousand dollar car? Tell Chris, cause he can push. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. Let me out, Jay. You may have to get a shoehorn, but I gotta get out. All righty. No, no, we don't talk to people in Volkswagen Beetles. You sure? Yeah, especially not green ones. What happened? Well, I think it was Chris's big ass in the back. Is that what we're blaming it on? Doing on perfectly and fine. What kind, cheaper and cheaper by what kind of 50 year old pony can carry that much weight? Actually, 60. What did you do to it? I don't know. Obviously, it's something that y'all didn't finish doing. No, you said only to go so far. All I had to do was go around the block. I can honestly say I've only done this a handful of times. Usually I just leave them out on the road for them to go get. You know what it was, Chris? We were just talking about how good it was running and it was actually pretty smooth. And it got bird shit on it. And the Mustang goes, what? F you guys. So anyways, yeah. shut that door. And you're gonna let the flies out, they'll sweat to death. The price just went back up. Boom! bleeding. It's just like it's just like any good old hot rod. It marks its spot. Sounds like my Australian ship. All right. So you know that I know that you know that I know. 
that allow myself to introduce myself exactly okay um a crappy one of these rusted out uh, is still bringing 20 grand and this is a fully loaded pony interior black on black car oh no no it was a non yeah i get the this was bought new by the original owner <laughs> if you want me to get some of that auction speak out okay. there but anyways i think it brings 30 grand all day long pretty quickly but if he wants to build one I got a soft spot in my heart for kids that want to take on uh, new projects. 29.5. What, <laughs> <laughs> <About> 16? <laughs> Is that, are you telling me your age or what? <laughs> no. I, 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 uh, I assure you, I even paid but, more than but that. If he, but if he does want to take it back to England, he's got all those taxes and VATs and stuff to He pay. lives here now. He ain't taking it back to England. Nobody goes back to England once you they get here. You told him you live here now? <laughs> we just lost the edge. Yeah. Nobody goes back to England. <laughs> all right. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. 18. Nice. No! Oh, come on, dude. He's starting out. He's going to fix it up like the last one. I just pushed it back in the shop for you. Yeah, and then it started right up. I think it just likes AC. But no, uh -uh. I'll, I'll do, i tell you what, cut all the BS. I'll do 25 grand. If not, I'll put it on the old interwebs and it'll bring 30. I know him. And if he says that's it, it's it. You want it? I'm happy at 25. All right. Yep. Yeah. Get you some of that. Thank you. Good job, sir. Thank you. Hell yeah. Hey, Chris, I think your phone's still in back. Let's go do some paperwork. And by the way, you're going to need to order a car rebuild kit. <laughs> you're going to be starting work straight away on this yeah. job. All right, everybody. It's Richard here at Gas Monkey Garage. And I tell you what, I can't be more proud of the community that we've built over the last two decades. You guys and gals out there have been watching us for a long time. Well, I tell you what, we're stepping up. You could call it Gas Monkey 3.0, all right? You see where I'm going there? That's right. Gas Monkey NFTs. They're coming at you and they are not just any NFT. This is going to be a community-based, having fun, rock and roll, faster, louder, you name it. Think about getting to come here and party with the guys here, having some beers, and maybe even just take one of my cars and drive it home, right? Or when I'm out of town, run it up for a private party or just having drinks and dinner with me and the monkeys. You know, there's going to be a lot, a lot of different things going on. I might even just throw some watches out there like Rolexes and stuff, but we are having a blast. If you haven't been on our Discord already, you need to get there. And I tell you what, this NFT is going to blow your mind. These are vehicles that have been through our shop that you've seen your whole lifetime that are going to have so many different attributes and so many different styles that it is going to blow the NFT market up. We are doing it the right way here at Gas Monkey Garage. So how do you do it? It's pretty easy. You get yourself some ETH, you get yourself a Coinbase or a MetaMask and you get after it and you start buying because as we keep going, the things that we're doing and the prizes that we're offering and the experiences that we're offering are going to keep getting getting bigger and better and better. So you want to be a part of this? Check out our Discord or go to gasmonkeynft.io and get you some of that. Richard. Hey, what? Come here. Can't you see that I got a production going on here? I'm filming. Okay. What do you need? Well, we need to film a video. I am, but for something else. No, 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 like for us, like for our YouTube. We're here. Take some money and go do stuff. Yeah, just make it look cool. Here you go. Come have some fun. We're gonna have a good time today. Who's your friend? You'll find out. What's up? What's up, Lacey? How are you? Good, you? Good. Yeah, so this is Lacey from LB Motorsports. What's up, guys? Uh, she's Lacey. gonna How hang out with us for the day. And uh, nobody expects a girl to hop out of that. So she just rolled in and dropped Texas all over y'all. The purple wheels don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, I mean, guys do that too nowadays. That's true. <laughs> it's dirty. So what are we doing? Uh, well, what let's are go we get doing? this thing dirty, because it, it's got 16 miles on it and it's got dealership gas still in it. So <laughs> I say we destroy it. And oh, then, uh, no, never get mad at me. And then, uh, I heard one of his buddies got it a, an abandoned go-kart track. So maybe we go there. Oh yeah, Robert. Yeah, Robert's got one. So uh, let's go, let's go destroy this and then drive there and then come back and make Phipps wash it. Cool. I'm in, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to drive my truck? You want to ride with me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Starting the day. Starting the day with 16.8 miles. Um, 
in our RTR Bronco 2022 that you can win, or I should say buy with your 200 grand that you win from our giveaway. So we're gonna put it to the test so you don't have to. It's kind of mean, but you'll still wanna buy it. We'll, we'll clean it up, it'll be all right. Hey Chase, you know that there's a bump up here, right? What, 45's too slow? That's some pretty solid suspension right there. I feel like it. I think Ford actually might have done something good. Well. Yeah, I think Ford might have actually done something good with the suspension on this thing. I mean, it's taking every bump. We're hitting them at 35. Normally, it'll it'll launch the TRX. Oh, did you guys know that was in there too? You can buy that. You can take Richard TRX again. I he, I definitely want to see someone take his truck again. I think it'd be hilarious. Cause he was so pissed that he did not have a like daily driver, driver for a while. Truck. And then they and took he his Hellcat. Got one. And then yeah. they took his Hellcat. So on top of that, they took both of his daily drivers. So he had to go get another daily driver. And then now someone's gonna take it again. I guarantee it. That'll be the, that'll be the one. So what is first step of this fuck it Thursday? We're gonna test the suspension even more. We're gonna take it down this super bumpy gravel road and uh, hopefully we put the bumper and everything on tight. If not, if I'm getting junior, we're gonna need another one. The car is telling me no. Her truck looks so fucking bad. Her truck does look super rad. Are you are you sponsored by Red Bull yet or what? No, I wish. Can you make that happen? Uh, do we have a contact? I don't know. Can you we... see me drinking one? Yeah, one? you're not dark enough. I know, it sucks. I'm trying not to get a ticket. All right, well, hop in because we're having fun. We're... Goat mode? Oh, goat mode. Let's see what we got. We got normal. Goat mode? Eco. Mud? Yeah, I guess uh, greatest of all time. Mud and ruts. Sand. Baja and rock crawl. Well, we're on rock, so let's try rock crawl. So oh no, it wants me to go to four low. I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe Baja? Oh, Baja, let's do Baja. Let's, we're gonna do four wheel drive boost launch. Let's try that. It's, it's fairly slow. I think your truck's faster, Lacey. Is she calling me out right now? <laughs> Are you calling I mean, me I, out? I think With she... just the stock 250? Why not? I mean, uh, yeah, you'd probably still beat me. I mean, we can, we can try. We can race on the, ne on to the next one. Okay. That's pretty cool that it shows you like everything that's in the road. Yeah, I don't know. That, like is that, that must be the driving. Baja mode. Cause that normally doesn't happen. Oh, traction control. I thought I turned it off. It is off. Well, that's terrible. try and find out. <laughs> Maybe not the best part with this concrete in the best place. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Professional driver. All right, I've had enough of this spot. It's not fun enough. All right, we're not getting it dirty enough, so we need to uh, move to the next one. Okay, where's that? Um, let's go to that one off Northwest Highway. We'll go to Luna Road. Oh yeah, under the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, no, not that one. That's 635. We'll do uh, we'll do Luna and we'll pull in by that one pond and everything. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll do that. Sounds good. Going through the pond? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I might get fired for that one. <laughs> if you don't follow Lacey, it's just I think at Lacey Blair on Instagram. She posts videos all the time. Always working on trucks. Always powder coat and stuff. So super fun to watch. If uh, you think that we had a good time with Lacey today. Um, let us know who else you want us to collab with. I mean, maybe we bring in Cletus. 
somebody somebody fun because we gotta have fun we're not not heck i'm not invite them over and not have fun so are we racing right now are we racing are you four-wheel driver she's in two-wheel <laughs> <laughs> that was the slowest launch I've ever seen. It should be in a four-wheel drive. Normal mode. We can try it. Oh, we're going? Wait, is this a... No, it's just... <laughs> I got her! <laughs> the slowest Right off the ever. line. I think we're like neck and neck though, honestly. I think we're, the we're pretty neck and neck. Well, you were spinning a lot more than I was. Yeah, all this, all these horses, it's a problem. All the ponies. All the ponies. Although I'm driving the pony, <laughs> I think. Come on, slow poke. We're gonna try. At least if we have one truck in the parking lot, if one of us gets stuck, one of us can pull each other out. So that's that's the other method to the madness I got going on here. We're getting stuck in this. We're not. Well, I don't know if it's muddy or really, because we drove down here with a two-wheel drive truck, Austin. I know. What the fuck? Richard couldn't hook it up that way. Like, trying to find a place to drive off-road in Dallas is not the easiest. It's not very easy. Um, we live in a world of concrete, and the best the best thing we got is gravel. And this is a little bit dirty, so it's dirtier than gravel. Oh, then I'm gonna get out and film this. All right, well, get, then yeah, get yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, out. Yeah, let me do that. It's fucking tiny seats back here, man. You're just a very large person. <laughs> All right, go. I thought you were still in the driver's seat. No. Oh, we don't have a license plate, bro. We gotta go back and get a license plate. Riding dirty. No, it's okay. What do you think about this? I think we could do better. Buddy, we should do be better. Fun? Yeah. We're kind of not in the best yeah, place for that. Yeah. Let's see if we can find something. Now it's your turn to drive. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna have to adjust the seat a little bit. <laughs> Five, two, and six, two. A little, a little different. I feel like we were borderline almost in trouble for parking there. It should be fine, I right? Think we're good. Okay, it'll be yeah, fine. I think we're good. If I go to jail, you'll just have to make sure that you film that also. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, that's a big ditch. Oh, they pulled straight down there. Damn, she just took it. She just owned it. We found a secret spot. We did. A little more off-road. It actually handles really good. Like, I am impressed. Yeah, well, I'll spot you. So don't go fast. Yeah, don't go fast. He's like, I'll spot you. I'm like, so don't go fast then. If I need <laughs> yeah. a spot, it's probably pretty serious. We'll see what it does. I think it's going to be fine. I'm really not worried about it. Oh, we might get high center, though. <laughs> slow, slow. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I do not want to be the one that just. Now it won't this make it. <laughs> not enough ground clearance. It won't make the it. Bumpers. We don't have enough angle. Hopefully it has good power. That's gonna take four wheel. Oh. Maybe yeah, not. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Needs track bars. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't think track bars would help us right now. I think we're a little high centered. <laughs> well, hell, let's see. Um, Is that forward? No, that's reverse. Try forward. Forward. Go forward a little bit. No, four. four oh, wheel. four. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> let's see. That would make more sense, huh? How the hell do you work this thing? I mean, oh. you might make it. I think you can disconnect the with the sway bar or something like that. <laughs> You may have to rock it, come back forward, and then yeah. one good move. 
I don't know why it won't go in four row. I feel like I heard a belt or something though, I'm not gonna lie. Now try it. Okay, he's not listening, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, fuck. We'll get it though. Ah, we're, we're digging it, but come on. You said tear it oh, up. you're digging it. Stop, stop. <gasps> okay, now just fucking hammer it. Backwards? Hey, yeah. but Chase, it won't go in four low. Just leave it. Four, four high. high? Four high, yeah, try four high. Hammer it. Oh. I hope you brought a toe strap. Oh. Do you really not have one? <laughs> Is he talking to me? A toe strap. I have regular straps. Well, at least you're down the I didn't know what I was getting into, <laughs> damn. If there's anyone to tear some shit up, it's me. I should not have been in the driver's seat. I will say that. <laughs> mm. Oh, he found something. I'm not sure how fit there, Chase. No, it's not. We are We're stuck. stuck. So do we not have clearance for the bumper in the front is the yeah, problem? Yeah, that's the, the approach angle is the problem. Seems mm. like the tire almost made it worse. Yeah. Hey, you got it four low now though. Oh, okay, try it. <laughs> We're in straight up like water over here. Back and forward. Look at that. Log. Oh, Lacey, you're in trouble. <laughs> That should do her. Try it now. Right. Yeah. What the fuck? Try it again. No one brought a toe strap. I got triple A. I do too. It's mainly for like Uber credits. You're really drunk. This friendship is off to a bad start. Right <laughs> now. Reverse? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be working. Mm -mm. No, it just sounds real bad on the transmission, to be honest. Let's try it again. I might have something in my truck. She said she thinks. Let's look. Yeah. Will you grab my phone? You want me to leave it here? Okay, cool. I'll just it's not going anywhere. turn it off, I guess. How the hell do you? Okay, just like that. Oh. Check the rear seat for occupants. Just our dignity back there, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Brandon, Phipps, and Kenny have been out working on the go karts for the past hour and a half, and um, I think we're going to be a little bit late. Time to call up Brandon and uh, see what they're up to. Brandon joins. Wait, he's back in the office? Oh no, it's Rob. God damn it. Fuck you, Rob. Not, not Brandon. I probably tried running them dry. The way gas is these days. How's it gotten here? Where is the AC? Did, did he tell you what my future is? Hey, you! Get out of that car! My buddy's in town. Everybody, this is Chuck Ewald. We changed tires in NASCAR for about 20-some years. Had a little pit school. We trained kids in NASCAR. Uh, first met Phipps. We come down, stopped by one day for a little quick visit to him and next door. And six years later, we're still good buddies. And come in town and go do a little truck racing Friday night. Okay, so we got two out of four. It's going to be five. Hey, want some of the Who's hopping on it? We don't need an air cleaner, run it. Test drive it in. Come on, let's see if it works. We need, uh... Hey, wait a minute, we gotta get rid of that governor. The governor's got to go. One quick adjustment for a pit stop. Oh, you hear she's coming in now. She's purring like a kitten. Oh, you spoke too soon, brother. <laughs> You let the idol off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Kids, I love them. Ricky Bobby, while well, you're out driving, remember second's the first loser. Can you hit the whole fence? I can if you help me. <laughs> I'll guide the tip. Okay. I can't believe how fun we've having on five horsepower, that is. Four and a half. Four and a half! <laughs> I'll be. Stay here and like make sure this doesn't go anywhere. I just want to sunbathe, hop out of the water? Yeah. Okay. We'll make sure no one steals it. Yeah, it's fine. Give me the key. I'm going to go take a bath real quick and then I'll see y'all back. Meet you back here. Wait, are you really getting in there? Oh, oh my god. What are you doing? Eating chicken sandwiches by the lake. Yeah, that's a little sore today. that. Can I me eating? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to Gas Monkey Ground. <laughs> to test and find out the limit and I think we found the limit. Yeah, it needs more approach angle. Ford bumper's not cutting it. We need more approach angle. So get after it, Bob Gittin Jr. You did it. I did, I, I did it. <laughs> you did. Well, you got us stuck and then you got us out. Yeah, so I mean, I cause problems but also solutions. Fix it. So Perfect. That's what I'm here for. So, like me and Chase were yeah, looking we, at all the fancy, fancy little the buttons to press up, up here, and uh, I think you might have discovered something. Yeah, so we have a front diff lock, rear diff lock, uh, sway bar disconnect, all kinds of stuff that I had no idea it had. So, there you go. We could have gotten out probably, but we did it the right way without breaking anything. We didn't hurt the truck or SUV or Bronco or whatever we call it. Yeah, now we're off to drive go-karts and get sunburn. And watch this truck driver try to run over the Budweiser trailer. Um, I don't know where they went, but we just pulled up. We're in the zone, okay? And- We're here with Brandon. We're here with Brandon. The Bronco does look good. You know, soccer mom vehicle for if you get lost going to the mall, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's go. really good for that. We tried to find the limit. One bit, you know that? Lazy did. Yeah. He buried it. We had to pull it out. <laughs> Brand new. It's got no miles on it. Stuck it out. Okay, right. At our buddy Robert Hall's place, he bought the Fun Zone. And uh, it's abandoned right now. So I've never had actually been in an abandoned amusement deal. And we're going to go rip the go-karts around. So let's go. You get him running, Kenny? Got some of them.
just because of height and weight was a little bit hey, hey, lower to the ground. Hey, that's why a win's a win. He was the fastest. What was your your lap time with Phipps? I don't know. We kind of popped another flat. tire. <laughs> with or without the flat. Yeah. Uh, we were still clicking off their lap times with the flat. <laughs> Where? True. Well, Where? this is a very Where? hard day at, at hey, work. Huh? Um, hard. We're all tired. Lacey, thanks for coming and no problem. Thanks for inviting stopping me. by with us and having a good time. And thank you for letting us come out here. Looks like it's almost quitting time, so uh, we should probably like head back to the shop before. Yeah, Chase, you got to pick that one up by Are yourself. Yeah, we leave this. Step push and pull. One of these go-karts that had a flat, Austin was in. That's not true. Yeah, yeah, it is true. Every one of them. You just said Brandon like two oh, seconds ago. But, but not cool, Fibs. Huh? Not cool. Not. Sorry. Say the truth. It's been a long day. Yeah. The truth is, we didn't check the air in those before we took them out. <laughs> That's the truth.